Ava, can you see the book? In my arm? Yeah. Okay. Here we go, guys. This is called yeah. Princess and the Pony. Princess and the Pony. Oh, that's a lot of ponies. Look at that. Princess and the Pony. Oh, look, there's ponies in the sky. Oh, and a, and a girl. It's for my sisters, Becky, Mara, and Laureen. Not my sisters, I don't have any. In the kingdom of warriors, the smallest warrior was Princess Pinecone. She was very excited for her birthday. There's Princess Pinecone. Most warriors get fantastic birthday presents. Fields, amulets, helmets, with horns on them, things to win battles with, things to make them feel like champions. Princess Pinecone got a lot of cozy sweaters. Warriors do not need cozy sweaters. This year, it would be different. Pinecone made sure to let everyone know exactly what she wanted. Big horse, a fast horse, a strong horse, a real warrior's horse. And they tried their best. But they didn't get it quite ready. Look at that horse, Ava. Does that look like a warrior's horse? Looks like a peanut. I can't ride that, said Princess Pinecone. It's too small. It's too round. And I think its eyes are looking in different directions. This was true, but only sometimes. But you can't say no to a birthday present. So she took the little pony to her room, where it ate things it shouldn't have, and farted too much. Now, as it happens, a great battle was coming up, and battling is a warrior's favorite thing to do. The princess tried to teach the pony how to be a real warrior horse. But the pony was hopeless. We'll never be a champion. Oh, we'll never be champions. Pine cone sighed. One day, of the, or the day of the great battle arrived. All the other warriors seemed very big and very tough. Just do your best, she told the pony. The starting horde sounded. What a battle it was. There were dodgeballs and spitballs and hairballs and square balls. Ooh, I knew. People were getting knocked over left and right. Pinecone stood at the edge, looking for a chance to dive in. There she is. Just then, Otto the Awful, the meanest warrior of all, charged right for her. The crowd held its breath. Pinecone fumbled for her spitballs. But Otto stopped in his tracks. His eyes grew very wide. Oh, he said, what a cute little pony. Wouldn't you, who would want to hurt a roly poly pony like you? Warrior after warrior paused to admire the pony. What a cutie pie, said Sally Smash. He's so round, said Carlos the Cruel. Ah, he looks a bit like me," said Hugh. The Hugh, said Huge Harold. Pinecone was flabbergasted, flummoxed, floored. This was not how a battle usually goes," she said. 
You're right. Oh, you're right, said Otto. But we warriors don't often get to show our cuddly sides. Princess Pinecone thought about it. Well, she said, I can help you with that. Soon all the warriors had their own cozy sweaters. They were looking pretty cuddly for a bunch of brutes. Everyone voted for uh, Pinecone and the Pony, the most valuable warriors of the day. Pinecone threw her arms around the Pony. You're the best horse a warrior could ask for, she cheered. Nothing can stop a team like us. The little pony was ex so excited, it lifted its tail and farted. Well, said Pinecone, we can work on that. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. It's kind of funny. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.